Kingdom is literally the best book in the entire world, and you cannot change my mind. It's the best book in the entire world. It is partially written and entirely illustrated by Chad Sell. Chad Sell, like, actually collaborated with, like, other authors to make the book, and then, like, as like, they write, like, dialogue and script for the book, he, like, um, draws, like, the panels and stuff for it. It's kind of like a graphic novel, except it's just, yeah, but whatever. So today, I'm going to be talking about all the good things about the Carver Kingdom. Also, this is my very first scripted video, so yeah, I, I, that's that's pretty that's pretty that's pr that's pretty good. So like, I I usually don't write scripts because I just kind of want to try and do it, talk about it myself. But I decided to write a script because I don't want to mess this p video up because it's a really good video. Um, the Cardboard King is about a bunch of kids who create their own characters made out of cardboard. The sequel to the book is set to come out next year in twenty twenty one. So. Yeah, but like, there's a reason why it's taking a long time to make the sequel. <clears throat> Sorry, yeah. One good thing is that every part of the book couldn't have morals. It doesn't actually end with morals in the book, but like, they could have. Like, for example, the Big Bang Chi chapter, the moral could be, um, don't change your personality because of others. Be yourself. I think that, that, that should, that could be a moral. Or how about the bully part? I mean, chapter. It could be, um, some of the people you are familiar with might not be as nice as you expect. I think that um, I have no idea. Another great part is the army view subplot. Halfway through the book, uh, two um kids' his mom got like mad, at, got mad at them for like dragging paint across the stairs. So like they tried to find like so they try to like try to like become evil away from each other. But then they were like they were like ah whatever. Let's just create an evil team, and then they do. And like yeah, it is it then later revealed that like um their mom's completely fine with it. They just want to get angry at them. And the great thing is that each kid is different, each kid is, like, different, and, like, some of them even have, like, problems that they have to tackle in real life, not just in the Cardboard Kingdom, which actually makes for, like, really good dramatic points in the book. So, like, like there was this one part where this kid who built, like, a mini city for everyone to play in, but then a bully came in, and, like, a Godzilla costume came and, like, started destroying everything, which kind of feels like you gotta stand up to bullies, or make a Cardboard costume and, like, beat the crap out of them. Yeah. So he makes a carbo roll out to battle him, but in the end they both like team up to take down some other bullies. Like, they, so like they they were like, there was a bully and a kid, and the bully picks on the kid, but then the kid um gets back at the bully, but then now they're tied, and then the bully and the kid take down some other bullies. That's how you become friends, I think. But is that how you become friends? Uh, Chad Sal also posted a mini chapter on his on his like website chatsal.com. I think that's what it was called. I think it must be like thecarverkingdom.com. I have no idea. Like, that shows the kids getting ready for Halloween. But, like, the robot kid, like, the kid who's, like, who, like, um, dresses up as a robot and he doesn't understand, she doesn't understand, like, what Halloween is. And, like, when she finally does, she kind of thinks that, like, getting two pieces of candy is, like, terrible and outrageous. And, like, I want more candy. Uh, some of the parts don't even have any dialogue. It just shows that you don't really need words to tell a story. Except, like, it is kind of hard to figure out what they're trying to say because, like, there's, since there's no dialogue, you have to, like, look at their expressions and try to, like, figure out what they're trying to say. It gets kind of confusing, but you might understand it. Some problems with the book is that the ending was kind of anticlimactic. It ends with the kids walking inside of their, like, school. I mean, it probably could have ended with the kids in one of the classes and then, like, the teacher asked what they did the summer and then one of them says, we did a lot of stuff. Instead, just, like, them just walking seeing them walk into the school another problem is alice 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 she's a big brat the entire book she's such a rivalry that didn't even ha that didn't even need to happen with someone who wasn't even trying to run out of business and then lands a kid in the hospital by like by, like giving by giving him like a drink with red bull gatorade some other stuff that i have no idea what that is and land and then like he drinks it and then he lands the hospital get like his stomach pumped and yeah what the heck, Alice? And also, she take and also she takes a suitcase to school. That might not be a big problem for some of you, and it's not really a big problem for me. But I still kind of hate it because, like, back when I was in kindergarten, I'd sometimes bring a suitcase to school to the point where, like, my kindergarten teacher said, "Oh, ho oh, honey, we don't bring suitcase to school. We bring backpacks." And I was like, "Okay." So, like, so, and she's like in probably like fifth grade or like middle school, and she can bring suitcases to school. No fair. The thing, with those, the thing with this book is that it's a multiple author project, meaning that multiple people worked on it. Uh, Chad Sal collaborated with some authors who, who like came up with a script for the parts, like the dialogue, and then Chad Sal like draws the panels to like 
make the story really interesting. In fact, I've been waiting for a sequel to the book for a long time, and I'm still waiting, by the way! Um, but whatever. I even came up with an idea where, like, some kids, like, move into, like, the neighborhood and battle... And battle of the Army of Evil. He did post a sneak peek of the sequel on his YouTube channel and his Twitter, but they don't really say much about the about the sequel. But he did find a part that shows that Alice looks like she's about to like go to the Army of Evil. See what I mean? A brat. Before and after the Carver King starts, there's like a map of all the houses in the kingdom and who lives there. There were some parts on the map that weren't really explained in the first book, like who's the new kid and what's the magic grotto. Who knows? They might explain it in the next book or not. We're gonna have to wait until the third book probably. The Carpet King is a multi word wing book, and I really recommend you get it, order it, and chat so if you're watching this, I congratulate you for creating this great and awesome book. I hope the sequel to it is just as good. Just as good. Can't be great as the f- nothing's greater than the first one. I might do more scripted videos like this in the future, and maybe more Carpet King videos in the future. I did have this idea where, like, I make a series called I Created a Carver King character, I created, my, I created a Carver King character series, where I create some Carver King characters, and, like, they can, like, be, like, a team, like, the Army of Evil, but, like, good people. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be really cool, the series has been building up to this, and, like, my art of, my love for the Carver King has been building up to that moment of creating that series, so, so, if you're watching this in the future, and I've already made, um, yeah, I created the Carver Kingdom series. I'm probably gonna make a playlist when it's over, and then you can like binge watch it. So check out my polls on Straw Poll. Um, like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends so they can get the Carver Kingdom. And and like um turn on notifications. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time.